much for joining me today. I wanted to do a video that I have been wanting to do for a really long time, but I'm finally getting around to it and I'm super excited. And that is a video on hair extensions. So I have really long but thinner hair now. I don't feel like I have really thick hair and I use hair extensions for the purpose of getting thickness and to make my hair look voluminous and just to make it look overall healthier and fuller because that's always what I've been trying to achieve and it's always been pretty difficult for me. So I'm going to show you guys how I use hair extensions to get that. The line that I'm going to be using is Irresistible Me Hair Extensions and I got the Silky Touch line. They had the Silky Touch line and they have another higher end line as well and it just kind of depends on what you want. Silky Touch is best for somebody who doesn't use hair extensions on a daily basis that's definitely me. I don't use, I, you know, don't use and wouldn't use hair extensions every single day. It's more for a special occasion, a dinner, like whatever it might be where I want to look like extra nice, but I can't imagine myself using it all the time. So that is good for that. And then there is the natural Remy hair extensions. I hope I said it correctly. And that is basically for somebody who uses hair extensions on a daily basis. Those are better quality, so those will last you longer but overall they're both really great quality and I got the 20 inch ones because my hair is pretty long um, and I also got 200 grams of hair that basically means that that is the thickness level that's basically I mean if you're going for something like me where you're more into thickness and that might be uh, the best option for you but if not there are um, you know there is less weight on them as well if you're going primarily for length so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I clip them in. So if you're interested in learning how I do this, then please keep up. For these hair extensions, I got the color Natural Black, which looks like this, which if you blend into my hair, like you can't see it at all. They also have like Jet Black, they have different browns, they've got all these different colors. I think it's 12 different colors, so you can definitely find your shade in there. And these are $200. I do have a discount code for you that will give you guys I want to say 10% off, so definitely check down below. You can click on that link. It'll take you directly to the website. And the code is Irresistible Meka. So just make sure you guys spell that correctly because I know Irresistible could be a word that's difficult to spell. But you guys will get a discount code. And remember, hair extensions are something that lasts you for a very long time. It's not a purchase that you're going to you know, buy today and think that you're investing so much money. And you know, a few months down the line, they're dead. Like That's not the case at all. You can curl them, you can straighten them, you can shampoo them, and if you take care of them properly, they should definitely last you a very long time. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing is, this is my natural hair. I haven't done anything to it. I'm going to zoom you guys out a tiny bit so you guys can see better. So this is the length of my hair. Pretty long, but what I'm going for is I basically want to thicken around this area because I feel like my hair is not very thick so my main goal is to put a lot of hair extensions back here to get this area looking really voluminous as well as these two sides right here. So uh, you get 10 pieces with different numbers of clips. This is a three piece or this is a three clip piece. The biggest one that I definitely want to use is this one right here. You guys can see how thick that is. It's a big piece of hair. This has four clips. So this obviously is best for the back of your head for sure because that, that, that way you're going to get that proper curvature. So that's where I am going to put that on as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is sort of turn my hair around or turn my chair around and show you guys that way and I really hope that uh, that helps in terms of being able to see what I'm doing. This is what I'm going to do. First I'm going to go ahead and clip up the portion of my head that I'm going to be putting these clips into. So I'm clipping this section up just so it's not as confusing and then we've got this piece and I'm gonna turn around okay so you obviously want to make sure you unclip all of these so these are open and if you guys can see these are these clips that are like that now so you're basically going to drag this into your hair put it in like that and then clip it back in so I am going to find the section that I want it to be in, which is right around here. I want to make sure each clip gets in the hair. And it should feel fastened in. Like you should be able to touch it and do whatever and it's not supposed to really be moving. And then I'm going to let my hair down and go ahead and cover up all of those sections 
And then if you feel like something is showing, you can always take your hairbrush and sort of comb back your hair from up here to get like your natural hair to cover it. And right now you shouldn't be able to see anything. So even from the side, all you see is volume, but you don't actually see any clips from anywhere. So that was the first piece. Next, I have kind of like a smaller size head. Like I don't have a very large head at all. So what I'm going to do is that I can feel the clips all the way up to here. So I basically am now going to go in and put in the rest of my extensions like up here on the sides. So I'm using the two piece ones because I don't have that much space left in my head anymore. So I'm just going to unclip them like that. And sorry, I'm using this mirror. I'm just going to lift up a part of my hair like up here. Clip that in and same with right there. So you guys can already see how much volume was instantly created here. Same thing for this side. I'm going to use another two piece clip. I'm going to lift it up right there. If it doesn't go in right the first time, it's not a big deal. Okay. So, you guys can already see from the thickness perspective that we've already got that covered. So this piece, I'm actually going to remove and clip in farther back. This is, I realize, too close to the front of my face. So I just, to unclip, I literally press and pull and it comes off really easily, doesn't like hurt anything at all. So... There you go. Much better. So you guys can already see that I have so much more thickness and here is my hair here are the extensions i had curled them last when i wore them which is why they still have a little bit of curl to them but now i'm going to go ahead and curl my hair like i normally would and show you guys how much fullness has come into it okay so now we've got these hair extensions in you can see the thickness for sure i'm going to go ahead and curl them too so you can see that but let me show you guys a few other pieces of this as well so you have a few more of these two clip pieces too for sure. Um, and then you also have a few of these one clip pieces. So it just sort of depends. Like if you're one of those people who like really wants to get all the way up in the front and just have something small, you can totally do that. For me, I felt like this wouldn't particularly give me too much thickness, but for length, of course, for sure. Um, so for me, I felt like that big piece in the back was definitely the biggest and the, the best one for me because it was so thick. And then I chose the second thickest ones on the sides because I like to have my volume right over here because I'm totally a volume junkie. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is clip up my hair again in sections so that way we're not worrying about, you know, how to curl and all that kind of stuff. So I'm literally clipping away just the very top. Um, I think this is all my hair, but actually it's not. There's a, a few pieces of the extensions but that is totally fine it's supposed to feel like your normal hair so don't treat it any different so i'm gonna go ahead and clip that i know people who are like really specific about how they curl might want it to not be this way but i like the messy curl look so i'm not going for something very uh prim and proper anyway so now with my numi titan 3 this is the curling iron that i use it's a wand so it's not going to give you that ringlet curl I am basically going to pull sections of my hair to the front and curl them. And I have a lot of layers in my hair, but when I curl, I don't really pay attention to the layers just because I like the messy look. It totally depends on what you like. So I just curled it backwards away from my face. And this curling iron is really hot, so you don't even have to hold it in for that long. And see, you've already got your beach wave. I'm going in with my second layer. So I'm putting, I'm holding the curling iron downwards, wrapping my hair around it. 
make sure you get all the way to the very bottom. And it does come with a glove too, so in case you're scared and something new to you, um, it won't be a problem. And what I've noticed is that the hair extensions take a little bit longer to curl than my natural hair. So when I get to that section, I will definitely make sure I hold it in. And then you're basically going to do the same thing around your head, which I'm not going to bore you guys with because it honestly is just curling your hair like you normally would. And if you guys want to see how I do this, then I will also link my other curling video down below because that shows you like how I really curl my hair and I'm literally doing the exact same thing. I'm not treating my hair extensions any differently than my normal hair. Um, so I'll definitely link that down below, but I'm just going to go around my entire head and curl it. Just make sure on the other side of your face too, you curl that away from your face to make sure you get the same sort of curl. And when you get to the back, instead of having a hard time holding this curling iron back there, I just tend to pull the hair forward and hold it in front of my face. So let me show you guys how I do this. So this is getting towards the back of my hair, so I just take this from here, and I'm just going to pull it up here. And I'm going to curl this way. Okay, so here we are with my bottom layer done. And you guys can see that you can't really tell like what's an extension and what's my real hair like at all. This is actually like how my hair really does curl. So now I'm going to take this and with the same clip from up here, I'm just going to let my hair down, sort of push it over to the side and clip this bottom part down kind of into a ponytail like that. So that way we know like, that's separate from what we're about to work on. So you're gonna let that hair down. Same thing, we're just gonna start off with the front. And it really depends on how you like the front of your hair to be curled, but I like it away from my face. I like to be able to see properly. So that's how I'm gonna be doing it. Just like that. We've got our first beachy curl. And then I'm taking larger sections of hair to give that messy look. If you want more of that ringlet sort of look, then you would take um, smaller sections of hair, just like this front curl, and continue that all over, but that's not what I wanted, so that's why I'm doing these larger pieces of hair now. Okay, so with this top section of hair, this is what my hair looks like, and I know it might look really scary right now, but don't worry. So you're gonna go ahead and let down the remainder of your hair. And just go ahead and plump it up however you guys like to. Make sure you guys run your fingers through your hair for sure if you're going for the sort of beach wave look like me as opposed to the really um, proper like ringlet curl. And then especially if you feel like those back clips are showing, then you're going to take your um, hairbrush and just sort of comb some sections back from around the middle right here. That really helps to conceal the clips and I can already see crazy volume in my hair that I have not had for years. I used to have this normal this type of hair before by myself without extensions but that is no longer the case so now I have to rely on extensions but here is what my hair looks like. Let me show you guys from the back as well so you guys can see how that looks and I'm gonna go ahead and post some pictures here also so you guys can see that properly to see what the back looks like and I'm sure you guys have seen my hair curled in so many pictures and videos before so you guys can definitely compare it to um, another video in which I haven't you know really done anything to it I just have my normal hair I can definitely see the fullness for me I always need fullness on the sides of my head because when I sleep I feel like it becomes really flat and the back especially like up here is always a problem for me my hair parts in this really weird way back there and it never gives me um, any sort of voluminous look. And then, if you guys really want to see, look at how much hair that is. Like, if you were to tie this up, that's how much hair you're looking at. So you can see how much hair we have really put in here. So, don't forget, my coupon code is down below if you guys do want to buy these. I love these hair extensions. I feel like they are so, so, so worth it because... It really, it's such an awesome way to feel better, especially if you have thinning hair like me, or if you even want to get length. Obviously, I showed you guys what I do for, um, to get fullness, because that's my issue, but obviously hair extensions are usually meant for length, which means that you just need to get a couple inches longer than your hair, and then 
um, you know, you'd still be able to get this sort of look um, while adding length to your hair as well. So as a reminder, I got the 20 inch ones and that is actually the exact same length as my normal hair. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know. I am going to be doing a few more um, hair tutorials and things of that nature soon anyway. Thanks guys. Bye.